Earlier this month, British YouTuber KSI sent out a tweet publicly challenging Jake Paul for a winner-takes-all boxing match at Wembley Stadium in London. Right after KSI tweeted the challenge, Jake Paul responded by tweeting KSI's challenge tweet and establishing a condition for the fight. The condition was that KSI needs to quote Paul's tweet and state, As of today in boxing, I am better. KSI accepted the condition and replied the same, quoting Paul's tweet, so, as the situation now stands, both Jake Paul and KSI will face each other in the ring at Wembley sometime in 2023, and the winner of the match will take 100% of the earnings. However, before that happens, KSI is expected to show up for an exciting boxing fight this weekend at the O2 Arena. The YouTuber will be fighting two opponents in a single night. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today, we'll be looking at how Jake Paul challenged KSI to a big fight. Yeah, you heard it right. So, let's start our video. On August 27th, KSI was going to compete against Alex Wasabi, who's a popular figure on YouTube, at the O2 Arena in London. It has been reported that Wasabi has suffered a concussion while practicing, which renders him unable to compete in the following event. As a result, his future fights are currently in jeopardy. The KSI x Alex Wasabi fight that was scheduled for August 27th is off. Wasabi had a concussion and isn't cleared to fight, tweeted Ariel Helwani. KSI was scheduled to compete in the bout for the first time since his last fight in 2019 when he prevailed over Jake Paul's older brother, Logan Paul. A battle between Jake Paul and Haseem Rahman Jr. was also scheduled to take place at the Madison Square Garden earlier in August. However, the event that was supposed to take place this coming Saturday was called off with 7 days notice because of a disagreement regarding the weight class that the fight would take place. As of right now, Paul has issued a challenge to KSI and has stated that he's willing to go to the UK in order to face him as a late substitute for Wasabi. Jake Paul recently tweeted, heard that Alex is out because of a concussion. F'd up. This was a big opportunity for Alex. He'll be back. KSI, everything happens for a reason. I'll come and fight in your hometown. Your boxing company, you are A-side. I also agree to make 180 pounds for August 27th. You accept? Paul tweeted his challenge to KSI alongside a video in which he mocked the British star. If he doesn't accept a fight with me, we all know that he's scared, added Paul. Just this past week, KSI made fun of Paul over the postponement of his bout against Rahman Jr. who had been brought in as a replacement when Paul's initial opponent, Tommy Fury, was denied entry into the United States. KSI also offered Paul a spot on the undercard on his fight with Wasabi. Clearly, your card is dead in the water at this point. So let me give you a lifeline. KSI tweeted, If you truly want to fight Tommy, fight in my card as the co-main event. I've got everything set up for you. Best believe you owe me one though. Ball's in your court. As the YouTuber KSI is ready to face off against the rapper Swarms, he has showcased his most recent physical makeover on Twitter. Alajida Elatunji, better known as KSI, hasn't competed in a fight since beating fellow social media star Logan Paul in 2019. On August 27th, KSI was scheduled to go up against Alex Wasabi, but Wasabi had to pull out due to a concussion. Swarms will take Wasabi's place, but Olatunji has also challenged Jake Paul, a longtime adversary, to a match at the Wembley Stadium in 2023, and Paul has offered to give up his whole purse if Olatunji is victorious. The fight is scheduled to take place in 2023. Paul has responded by claiming that he will take up the offer if Olatunji acknowledges that the American is currently a better boxer than he is at this time. The metamorphosis is an astounding one, with the 29-year-old appearing to be overweight at the beginning of the year before showing off his newly ripped body later on in the year. Olachunji then wasted no time challenging Jake Paul to a fight at Wembley Stadium next year. He wrote, I'm gonna send you a contract, we fight next year, Wembley Stadium, the winner of the fight takes all, 100% of the purse will be on the line. Put your money where your mouth is, and let's finally end this. Will you accept at Jake Paul? Alatunji and Paul have been engaged in a verbal spat ever since the British drew with Paul's brother, Logan, in 2018. Alatunji prevailed in the rematch for the grudge match a year later, and ever since then, he has had his sights set on Jake. Jake has continued to seek a career in the sport, while Alatunji hasn't competed since 2019. Jake has defeated Anisan Gibb, Nate Robinson, Ben Askren, and Tyron Woodley twice. Alatunji hasn't competed since 2019. In addition to that, he was scheduled to battle Love Island star Tommy Fury, but Fury was denied entry in the United States for the bout. Paul has responded to the challenge, replying, Good morning, guy fighting rapper with t-shirt on, your hometown, and winner takes all. A thousand percent I accept, but one condition. You have to reply and admit that as of today, when it comes to boxing, I am better. And that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? 
Let me know in the comments section down below. I hope that you found this video interesting, and if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the following video with some more of the latest updates, and until then, stay tuned.